Now this is uh, Aubrey de Grey from the SENS Institute. Uh, SENS is Strategies for Engineering um, Negligible Senescence, which is a fancy way of saying reversing aging. Uh, it's regenerative medicine. Currently, our, our path is like this, uh, from aging to death. Once we drop it below the frailty mark, it tends to drop a little faster. But what he's saying is there are seven basic steps to creating reversal of aging. And if we correct 50% of those, we reverse it to this point, and then it gradually builds up again, you reverse it again, you reverse it again. So we prolong aging, but we're still down here in the, in the older range. Now, if we say, okay, we're going to correct two-thirds and then three-quarters, you take advantage of these things over time, and you gradually reverse this. But he's not talking about intervening in the sense of slowing it down, but just correcting it as it accumulates. So it's just like a typewriter. You let it build up, and it goes back. Build up, and you correct it back. So you clean this stuff up as time goes on, and that's what reverses it. Whereas if you try to correct it ahead of time, what we're finding is that we create more problems than we actually are correcting. Um, you go in and you try to reverse or block microbial damage or uh, damage to the mitochondria, and you end up creating another problem with that rather than just going in and cleaning it up once the damage occurs. So first step, cell loss, atrophy. We lose cells as we age. One of the reasons we lose those, um, telomeres. Telomeres are these little end caps on our chromosomes that will only allow cells to divide so many times before they reach what's called the Hayflick limit, which is about 40 to 60 divisions. Um, once that's reached, the cells go into what's called senescence, so they can't divide anymore. All of our cells have the potential for lifelong rejuvenation with, with dividing. But as we get older, we start depleting these, and once they're short enough, the DNA can't divide anymore. And so you're stuck with the cell at that stage of where it is. Um, one of the things they're looking at with this is stem cells. I mean, we're already to the point where we can create just about any cell system from stem cells. So we can take your stem cells and create that. It's just getting these things into the right matrix. It's just some fine tuning that needs to be done right now. Mitochondrial mutations. This is another big one right now. Um, and I could go into huge detail on, on just mitochondrial mutations alone. But mitochondria are basically organisms that were never originally part of our cell system. They, they kind of migrated in as outside organisms, and they're the powerhouse. They run all the power for our cells. They have their own DNA, but their DNA is not protected like our DNA in the nucleus. So when you're creating all these free radicals from creating energy, which is common, you damage this. And it codes for 13 proteins that are required to create energy. We, we're constantly cleaning these up devouring them with these, these big vacuum cleaners that go around the cell called lysosomes. We clean them up, the other ones divide, create more, uh, but eventually this DNA damage becomes profound and the cells basically die. So what they're looking at now is what they call allotropic gene insertion. So they're, they're pulling these genes out, inserting them into the nucleus of the cell where you have a lot of protection against free radicals. And so the cell can constantly create the proteins that are required for the mitochondria to work. Um, this is a big area. This is a huge part of aging right now. Division of cell cells, cancers. This is uh, another one that they've got some stuff really coming quick on. Um, telomere deletion. So these cells create more of the telomeres on the DNA so they can divide and be immortal. And so they're able to actually delete these and then reseed with the stem cells. Death resistant cells. These are the zombie cells. This is something that was confusing people forever. I mean, these cells were sitting there, and they didn't work. You know, you had your muscle, and then you had, you know, 20% of the cells in the muscle were senescent cells. So they're not dividing. They're not doing anything. What we found is that they actually do. They create disease in the organ system. So we have to get rid of those as we age, because the more they build up, the more dysfunction we get. So what they've found is that they can induce suicide genes in these cells, uh, or create immune stimulation so that the immune system goes in and gobbles them up so that you don't, don't have them and then the other cells can divide because they have profound effects on the other cells in the surrounding organ. So this is the, the schematic of the telomeres. You can see them dividing as time goes and then they reach the Hayflick limit and they cannot divide anymore. Um, this is actually a picture 
of uh, life length uh, out of Spain, they do um, telomere testing. Uh, that actually might be my telomeres there. Uh, but they look at them under, on the DNA under a fluorescent microscope and they measure them. 